going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm here with Victor, I'm here with Chris, here with James. We're in the Keys and we're trying to catch some permit. Right now we're unloading the truck. We got all this freaking gear, all these freaking rods, cars going by honking at us. We're trying to catch some permit. I'll see you guys on the bridge. Anytime you're moving up and down the bridges, there's just so much junk that we come out with. It's just, it's a process. It's not just like skip out on the bridge and here we go. We gotta bring coolers, bags, camera bags. I'm out here on my skateboard and everything like that because I get too sick of walking to and from the car. But yeah, there's a whole process. It's kind of honestly more of a team effort than anything. We're just getting all the junk out here. Um, talking to a couple guys that have been fishing already, there's already been three permit landed, a lot of hits. Um, James actually caught one this morning. Caught one uh, flatlining to it, right? Yeah, threw right to it. Really? Nice. So it was like a 10 pounder. Hopefully when the tide calms down a little bit more, there's some more, but we're gonna get the rods out. So this is what I'm doing, first thing. Got a live crab we just picked up at one of the tackle shops. Actually, this one feels kind of dead. No, he's still moving. What I like to do is break the diggers. And a lot of current here, you don't really have to worry about it, but typically where I grew up, they'll try and dig themselves into the sand and they'll hide from the permit. So I just like taking that option away from them, keeping them in the strike zone. Boom. And then I'm gonna hook this guy in the side so he kind of swims all sideways like that. Takes a sec, so I'm probably gonna edit slightly through this, but you just kind of work your hook in very, very slowly. And you try and make as small of a hole as possible. And you just sit there. Just, there we go. And he's gonna sit like that in, in the current and it's gonna pull him away. Permit's gonna suck him in and hopefully we hook him. So I'm finding areas that there's less current, kind of eddies because of all the pilings of the pier. The water's coming from my left, going to my right, and I'm gonna put my crab in that eddy. Not casting out anything crazy. Just kind of drop them down there. Boom. Now we cross our fingers and hope a permit finds him. kind of bored, mess around and you snapper fish, fish live shrimp for just like a little bit of everything. So right now I just got like a one ounce lead, just enough to get this shrimp down, some 25 liter, and then a little shrimp hooked through the head here, just hooked through the horn. He's kind of live, kind of half dead. And I'm just gonna fish these pilings out in front of me because there's always different sorts of critters out here. It might be a lot of small fish, but it's something to keep me entertained while we're waiting for a, uh, a good bite. Just caught this short mutton. Chad fishes here all the time and he uh, he showed me actually how to catch them because I wasn't catching anything. So if you guys are interested in a lot of Florida Keys content, absolutely be sure to check out his channel. But this guy's too small, we're looking for like 18 inches. So we're gonna let him go. Whew. So, but this is on Ballyhoo. Yeah? Yeah. How big they gotta be? I make 22, I think. Nice black grouper. So it's gotta be 24. About 22. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Not only are we trying to catch permit, but there's ballyhoo at the bridge. So we've been cast netting and sabiking ballyhoo to try to catch muttons, groupers, yellow jacks. Uh, it's just an all-around versatile, just an all-around versatile bait to have on bottom. Get him out there. As Ryan was telling you guys earlier, the eddies, so the pilings, that's where we try to be. Because the fish, they want to conserve energy. They don't want to fight the current. So they'll sit at these eddies right here at the back side of the pilings where there's still water. It creates kind of like a back curtain and they don't have to swim as much or as strong 
to maintain their position. And also it helps because if you try to just fish in the middle of the current, your lead doesn't hold bottom. You gotta fish in the still water. Can you tell me what you're doing? Caught a local legend. Uh, just the knocker rig. I think I got a three ounce egg weight, about three or four feet of 40 pound fluoro. And a 3.0 Mustad circle hook. And you're drifting it out underneath the bridge? Yep, put it, out, put it out next to the piling, snapper fishing. And you got tight. Got the right species. On black freaking guy right there. Look at that thing. Dude. So what we call a nurse shark. We call it slang gummy bears. We call them just a bunch of different stuff. But they swim around the flats or really everywhere don't have the real sharp teeth that other sharks do and uh, they kind of just scavenge really they're kind of like a big catfish that's not what you want. oh that's a bird's nest and a half. <laughs> that's not ideal there's a bunch of little little pilchards just swimming around here and runners and stuff are just munching them so i'm literally just throwing this crappie jig white crappie jig they made for fresh water you literally can get like a 10 pack for like a dollar fifty honestly it's one of the best things or like one of my favorite things to have in my bag because like little saltwater fish just absolutely love this thing you got to fish a light rod light leader but uh yeah everything eats it and so i just caught that last runner on let's see if we can catch another one just literally throw it out i let it sink a little bit give it a little jig and they normally eat it on the fall a lot of the time when there's mackerel around this is this is just a money bait you get cut off but it's like whatever you know because it's only a dollar fifty Oh, oh, got him on. Another runner. Let's see if we can turn that into another Cuda. Just caught this little blue runner. I'm just gonna mess around, toss him around the piling, see if anything uh, cool wants to come out and play. These things swim super, super fast, so tend to attract a lot of kudas and stuff like that around here. Kudas just love that reaction bite. Oh, oh. Got the kuda on. Come on, big old cuda came out and crunched the runner. Am I filming? Yeah, I am filming. Chad's got me on the net. Hopefully he doesn't cut me off. Oh, don't do that, buddy. I hate that. Keep your head down. Oh. All right, let me reset. Yeah, you good. Oh. So green. Oh. That yes. was awesome. Oh, oh man. <laughs> the hook came out. He netted the cuda. It was in there and then it came off. God, that was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? Oh, so, that happened so, so fast. <laughs> so, all right, let's get this little, little smudge action off. So, I pitched out that runner over there. Cuda came out and smoked it. I hooked him. Chad ran down the freaking net. The hook pulls out of the cuda, he netted the cuda, and it's pulling it, pulling it up, and then it jumped out of the net. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. We would have released it anyway, so that's still pretty cool. Appreciate the, uh, the assist. <laughs> so I just caught and released, actually, a pretty decent cuda, and we realized we weren't recording at all. But basically what happened is I caught another one of those blue runners, and I was just working my way up and down the pilings, just tossing the blue runner at it, tossing the blue runner at it. Cuda... Finally, I got to one that the Cuda saw it, came out, and just crushed it on top. Just using little circle hook and some 40 pound leader. Somehow I didn't get cut off. I just kind of reeled tight really, really quick and we're able to land it and we just released it and threw it back. But uh, very similar to that one that we just uh, Palm Beach released, if you will, the one that jumped its way out of the net. Super cool. Wish we could have got it on footage for you guys, but we'll try and get another one. Chad's rod started going off. I think we got a little snap around here. There he is, a little 
undersized mutton. Nice. God, these fish are so pretty looking when they're this small. Heck yeah. Nah, he ain't on me anymore. That had to be a shark, dude. This thing was hauling ass. Come on, boy. That was on the valley hook? Nah, uh, Blue Runner belly. Oh, yeah, that's a Well, maybe it wasn't a shark. It's because it spit it out. Yeah. Right? Dude. Got them on. Yo! Another button. Buttons eat everything out here. Dude, they're slowly, chewing. Slowly getting bigger. Yeah, we just need like double that size and we're good, man probably like 13 14 inches need like 18 inches to keep them i prefer like 38 inches personally <laughs> yeah people in hell want ice water too of yep. course they do hey you know what catching something is a lot better than catching nothing these beautiful little fish man there's something else oh hooked up Chad gone fishing, Chad gone small muttons. <laughs> That's all I got today. Bro. But you only can catch what eat, so. 100%. Oh! <laughs> you think he was on hook? <laughs> he thought he was. They swallow it. And look at this, this is on Ballyhoo this time. We've got them on Blue Runner Belly, Ballyhoo, Shrimp. Anything you can freaking bring here, they'll eat when they're fired up, so. This guy, I'm just gonna bite the line and let him go. There's no reason to hurt his, his gills just to get the hook back. Boom. See that? He swam away nicely. That's how you do it. Kind of getting near the end of the day and y'all the keys is probably one of the most hit or miss spots i seem to miss down here a lot victor's had a Ryan, couple hit days <laughs> i don't know what's go what's going on i feel bad because chris is behind the camera and we've had some like legendary days and i re i try to tell other people about it and they're like you guys are full of it no way we've had days here where we've seen 50 permit in a mm -hmm. school and you pitch your crab at them and they're just fighting over it and then it was today was it seemed like there was like a two hour window where uh the other guys got their permit in the morning and yeah we missed out yeah we, we slept in out. and we missed out that's just that's fishing you know that's on us but this at the same time like this place has so much life like i caught all of these little undersized muttons caught a bunch of barracudas little blue runners there's bait galore so there's so much life but at the same time like when you have that mindset that you're going in to catch a permit or whatever your target species is it's always a little bit disappointing and disheartening so it's just like you kind of feel defeated at the end of the day when you think back wow i actually did catch some fish but yeah. you, it, it, what you didn't meet the goal so it's just like kind of a weird mix of emotions but That's it. we're gonna keep trying for like another hour or so if we don't get anything this is going to be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching be sure to check out victor's channel chad's channel and ricky's channel Whoa. Jeez, that was Triple a lot of youtubers win. there were so many gopros on the bridge and people running <laughs> that around must have been like, it. the permit we're afraid dude, that's hey, exactly no love it. for chris low huh? that's absolutely it chris low is single he needs a girlfriend <laughs> he's behind the camera if he would shave the mustache he would have a wife by now but he won't <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching it and putting up with our shenanigans shenanigans that's a good way of putting it see you later see you